This chat app provides a friendly interface for chatting with enterprise data using Azure Cognitive Search and OpenAI. Let's ask a question about healthcare plans. After a brief wait, we receive an answer. In this answer, we can see that ChatGPT has summarized the information from citations and provided sources. And we can click on each of these and see where it actually got this information from. As we can see in this PDF, it describes what is included in the healthcare plan. So ChatGPT plus Azure Cognitive Search have sorted through these documents for us. So how does it actually work when the user asks a question? Well, that question is sent from the front end to the back end. And the back end will take the question and use that to search Azure Cognitive Search. And it can use either vectors or keywords or the combination of the two, which is the best. It can also optionally use a semantic ranker on top for the optimal ranking of the results. So typically it will get between three to five results and then it will send those results plus the original user question to a ChatGPT model, usually 3.5 or four. And then we get back a response that contains an answer as well as sources. We can also look at this in the code. This is the TypeScript code that makes requests to the backend, sending along the user's message and any other information about how they'd like the response. And this is backend code in Python that processes that request uh, optionally looks for authentication claims if they have configured ACLs and then sends that to a particular retrieval augmented generation approach. For example, this is the retrieve then read approach, and this is what's used by the ask tab. Let's look at the architecture that we chose for this app. We're deploying to Azure app service and that app service interacts with an Azure Cognitive Search, an Azure OpenAI instance, and an Azure Blob Storage. That's where all the PDFs are stored. Now, instead of using keys to access these, we are always using managed identities. There are absolutely no keys in our environment. So that is a enterprise best practice that makes our app more secure. In terms of how we get data into the app, we currently use a local script for doing this. And you uh, load some data into a, a local folder and you run the script, it will upload those documents to blob storage. It will use Azure document intelligence to analyze them, use Azure OpenAI to compute embeddings, and then insert both the text and the embeddings into Cognitive Search. You can also optionally insert ACLs at this point if you're doing access control. The easiest way to get started with deploying this to your own Azure account is to use GitHub code spaces, which will set up the environment with everything you need. Then, once you're logged into your Azure account, run AZD up. The first thing it does is provision the resources, like App Service and Cognitive Search and OpenAI. Then, it ingests the sample documents into Blob Storage and Cognitive Search. Finally, it deploys both the backend and frontend code to Azure App Service. Once you've got it successfully deployed with the sample data, the next step is to customize it. Change up the text change of the data, and play with the settings to work well for your needs. We hope this repo can empower you to create an enterprise ChatGPT app for your company.